Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to talk about increasing and decreasing functions and how we can use calculus to identify where a function is increasing and where a function is decreasing. Let's just do it from an intuitive approach. So here's a function, and it's increasing obviously, right? So this is an example of a function that is increasing. Okay, so if you look at the derivative of this function, so what is the derivative? Well the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So you pick any point on this graph and look at the slope of the tangent line. That's what the tangent line looks like. That tangent line has a positive slope. Pick another point, you have a positive slope. Pick another point, you have a positive slope. So it looks like that whenever a function is increasing, the first derivative is positive because the first derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So positive first derivative, increasing function. Positive first derivative, increasing function. This has to be true on an interval, by the way, okay? If you have a decreasing function that looks like this, In this case, if you pick a tangent line at any point on this graph, you'll see the tangent line has a negative slope. Well, the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So in this case, the first derivative is negative. So if you have a negative first derivative on an interval, their function is decreasing. So positive, increasing, negative, decreasing. Positive, increasing, negative, decreasing. Positive, increasing, negative, decreasing. Really easy to memorize. Let's do a really simple example of finding intervals where a function is increasing, uh, and or decreasing. So let's do, it, let's do a simple problem. Let's try this one. f of x, let's make one up. x squared uh, minus 4x plus 3. Okay, so we're looking for where the function is increasing and decreasing. So what intervals can we find where this function is increasing or decreasing? So to find out where a function is increasing or decreasing, the first thing you do, the very first step, okay, is you take the derivative and you set it equal to zero. And you're basically looking for uh, critical numbers um, uh, or, or places where the derivative is undefined that aren't critical numbers. So even like vertical asymptotes, you'll want to care about those as well. Okay, so critical numbers and any vertical asymptotes. So you take the derivative. In this case, it's 2x minus 4. Okay, so this is not undefined. There's no vertical asymptotes, right? Uh, and you're not going to get any critical numbers uh, from the derivative being undefined. But you can set it equal to zero to find critical numbers. Okay, so you get here. Now you can solve this um, for x. Okay, so I'm going to do it again over here. So 2x minus 4 equals zero. You can add 4. Then you would divide by 2. So x equals 2. So this is actually a critical number in this case, right? This is actually a critical number. Uh, because it's in the domain of the original function. So we care about this. Right? I'm going to put it in the box. Okay? So you take this number, and now what you do is you put it on a graph. Okay, so again, step one, take the derivative. You look to see if it's undefined anywhere, um, even if it's a vertical asymptote. You care about that, right? You make note of it. Then you set it equal to zero, and then you solve. So that's what we have. So this is a, a point of interest, right? This is a point we care about. Plot it on a number line. Now what you do is you pick test points. You can pick any number you want that's less than 2. The easiest number in the world is 0. So let's use 0. And you plug it into the first derivative. So f prime of 0. So plugging it into the first derivative, you would get 2 times 0 minus 4. So you get minus 4. So that's less than 0. So we have a negative first derivative. So in this case, it, the function is going to be decreasing here. I like to draw a little arrow, right? And it's going down. I always draw your arrows going that way, right? So down, up, down, up, right? Down, up, down, going that way. Now we pick another number over here. Anything bigger than 2. How about 4? So plugging in 4, we get 2 times 4 minus 4. So 8 minus 4, that's equal to 4. That's positive. When you have a positive first derivative, it means the function is increasing. So it's decreasing all the way till it gets to 2, and then it starts increasing. So it looks like it's going to be decreasing, and you can get the answer from the picture. Negative infinity to 2, it's always a parenthesis, and then increasing would be 2 to infinity. So increasing would be 2 to infinity. So step one when you're finding increasing, decreasing is take the derivative, look to see if it's undefined, right? Anywhere. If it's undefined, make a note of it. Then you set it equal to zero and you solve. Then you take all the answers that you just got from that process and you put them on a number line. Then you pick test points. You can use any number you want over here and any number you want over here. Plug them into the first derivative. Super important, right? 
If it's positive, the function's increasing there. If it's negative, the function is decreasing there. Then you can get your answer from the picture, right? So decreasing from negative infinity to two, increasing from two to infinity. So um, I hope that made sense. Um, that's it. Uh, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. Bye.